Pope Francis also met with the head of the Legionnaires of Christ, a religious congregation of over a thousand priests in 21 countries founded 80 years ago in Mexico. Father John Connor, the ge general director of the Legion, met one-on-one -on -one with the Holy Father exactly one month after the Legion presented its sexual abuse report. The congregation is in the process of an ongoing reform. Father John Connor, General Director of the Legionnaires of Christ, joins us now from Rome. Father, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, tell us about your meeting with Pope Francis. What was his biggest message to you and the Legionnaires? Well, Tracy, I've been waiting for a year, at least I've been hoping to have a meeting with the Holy Father. Uh, so overall, just to thank him for accompanying us over all these years, he, the whole church, uh, it's, it's really been an incredible period for us, obviously, challenging, and the church has been with us every step of the way. So uh, the meeting was really very fatherly. He was very close, very fatherly, wanted to know how we were doing how the renewal is going, certainly, but how our men are doing. So that was very encouraging for me. And he wanted to know how I was doing, right? Um, one Im important message for us, and I asked him, Holy Father, what, what would you like to see? And he said, let's, let's work together. Let's, let's be in communion, the whole church. It's so important that we foster communion together in our work of evangelization now. So that was beautiful because it was my desire too, is one of my reasons for, for having the meeting, Tracy, is that I we want to be in communion with the Vicar of Christ and, and be in mission with him, this beautiful mission we have of evangelization. So That's incredible. And, and I understand part of that meeting uh, with the Holy Father was about the abuse report. Can you give us an update on that process and where it stands now? Sure, Tracy. Well, the, the report we recently published and also publishing the cases of, of those who have suffered sexual abuse um, as a minor by members of our congregation, it, it, it was one more step forward, hopefully, in really trying to foster truth and healing for those individuals and, and making sure uh, we want them to feel confident that not only are we affirming uh, what has happened, but we want to care for them in their process. Uh, I updated the Father, the Holy Father, on the report and just assured him of our conviction to continue forward, uh, constant improvement in this area, which he has been insisting really in encouraging the whole church to address this with humility and authenticity, right? And what's next uh, for the Legion? Are you optimistic about what the future holds? Tracy, I, I see this future, I think we see the future with a lot of opportunity and hope. You know, this Easter season, I was just reflecting on last Sunday's readings with, with Peter and Acts of Apostles. You know, the whole theme, Tracy, of the new man in Christ is central to Easter. And it's also central to our spirituality in the Legion and Redmond Christi. And what the new man has done, he's encountered Jesus Christ, he's received forgiveness and mercy, and he becomes a new man in Jesus Christ and wants to share that encounter with Christ and give hope to others. And, and I think that's that's what we that's what we hope for. That's the opportunity to be the new man in Christ, to share the story of renewal, that renewal is possible for an institution, not just for a man in, in his own sinfulness, right, and encountering Christ, but an institution as well, to be a new institution in Jesus Christ and, and to serve with humility and authenticity the church in her mission of evangelization. So that's the opportunity we see, Tracy, and God willing, we'll be able to offer that. Yeah, and thank you so much for sharing that message with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time today. Father John Connor, General Director of the Legionnaires of Christ, thank you so much. Thanks, Tracy.